What's up, what's up? Good evening, good morning, good day guys. It's your PWD Gamer 217 once again. Posting another video, albeit late. So it's already past, well actually it's already 1 a.m. here. So technically I wasn't able to post any video yesterday. Uh, Tuesday, November, oh, Wednesday rather. I wasn't able to post video um yesterday wednesday and november 15 so i'll try to post videos two videos today so anyway we're as i uh, mentioned in my previous video uh this is part two of the house of grief and as you know they've already started the conversation and we're still talking i'm still talking i'm sorry about that but yeah, let's listen in. So just to uh, uh, just a quick recap, uh, Viconia or Viconia, I don't know how you say that, or how you say her name. Uh, Vi Viconia is from Baldur's Gate 2. She's one of the companions that you can recruit. Although I haven't used her that much in my playthrough. 30 years ago I think <laughs> or around 20 plus years ago I don't want to give too much uh, clues about my age but yeah uh, she's one of the companions and um, I'm not sure about her quest line back then in Baldur's Gate 2 so it seems that we've met her once again. Well, obviously we've met her once again. Well, I mean, we've met her here in Baldur's Gate 3. Uh, that's the reason why she mentioned uh, all the acquaintances when she saw Jahira. So yeah, uh, I'm, I'm still playing the Shadow Monk. Uh, good playthrough. So I decided to not give up. Shadow Heart since she already gave up uh, the worship of Shar. So yeah. Um, we are fighting the Sharons. Is that how you say it? The Sh ah, yeah, the Sharons. The disciples of Shar and uh Rikonia herself. So to be honest, this is quite um a tough battle for me. Uh, I'm playing on normal mode i think that's balanced so yeah i'm, sh I'm sorry if, if i seem to not have um memories of, of uh the game mechanics or even, the car of, or even the npcs in this game because as i've mentioned i think it's my third week of not playing this game um i've been posting videos but of course uh, these are save videos in my gameplay so currently in my gameplay i am uh well obviously i'm in act three and this is actually the latest one of the latest videos that i've uh, or one of the uh among the latest uh, gameplays rather that uh, i did so currently i am on my way to finish uh, Astarion's uh, quest line that is to meet um, Cazador. Yeah, I, I remember that correctly. <laughs> so I'm on my way to meet Cazador, but uh, we were waylaid by Ballast uh, assassins. So, yeah, but uh, if I go back to playing the game, uh, that's where I'm gonna pick up. That's where I left off. So that's where I'm gonna uh, pick up the game. Uh, that, that's where I'm gonna continue um, to play the game. So yeah, um, basically what I did as for the Chosen 3 was, well after, obviously after Catherick, I decided to pursue um, uh, Orin. Yeah, Orin. I decided to pursue Orin first before going to um, Gortash. All right, I, uh, I'm glad my memory is not failing me uh, too much. <laughs> but yeah, uh, so in this playthrough, I've already defeated Orin, 
Uh, I've already posted a video about that. Uh, I've defeated Orin. I've de defeated her um, disciples in her temple. Um, I've gotten her um, uh, the stone. Oh man, that one I forgot. Yeah, I got her. I got her stone. And now I'm deciding to basically right now I'm just uh, completing the the companion quests before I proceed with the main quests. Um, I'm also currently um, having um, no ideas actually uh, of how to bypass Gortash or Gortash detecting me. And saving the hostages, the the the, uh, the workers. So when I tried it once, uh, when I took the submarine, um, I was detected, or Gortash uh, discovered my plan, and you know, uh, basically what he did was to destroy the the I think the mine or something, and then kill all the the workers there so i failed that so basically what i'm trying to say is i want to destroy the 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 foundry i think where they make the steel watch uh automa automatons without the killing the workers you know the i mean basically at the at, uh, in its face value you are presented with two options uh, of course i'm sure there are a lot of ways to to bypass or to to go around to, to accomplish the goal but um on its on its face uh, we're presented with either uh, disregarding the lives of the workers and, the, and just destroying the foundry or the, the factory or save the workers first and then destroy the factory so that's where i'm going that's where i'm there that's what i'm trying to do uh, i want to try to save them first before destroying the foundry but uh, they'll come uh, on my next videos for now at uh, after um this video after <coughs> defeating Viconia, uh, I will proceed, or my next video will be more about uh, Casador and um, completing the questline for uh, Astarian. So yeah, as I've mentioned, uh, this is quite a uh, difficult battle for me. Uh, I think I've um, reloaded a couple of times because of uh, things that going my way. Actually, if I'm going to be very, very um, strict, I would say that this wouldn't even uh, this this gameplay uh, didn't. I can't consider this gameplay to have gone my way. All right, so I can't consider this as a gameplay that went my way. Something like that. Uh, I'm sorry about that. Uh, my Eng uh, English is not my first language. I know. I mean, I, I, I'm pretty much sure that you caught up on that. Uh, it's pretty much obvious, but yeah, I try. <coughs> and the reason for that is actually when I check my uh, analytics, YouTube analytics uh, channel, or the analytics for my YouTube channel rather, uh, majority of my viewers come from either the United States or the UK so uh, especially uh, w when I started posting videos about this game you know when I became active in posting videos again about Baldur's Gate so based on the analytics most viewers are from UK and the US so in order not to alienate you guys uh, I have to make sure that my commentary are in English <coughs> It's uh, a not of this world English, but I'm sure uh, most of you would know what type of English accent I have, because uh, every time I play online uh, on the PS4 with uh, foreign uh, players, they would they are pretty much familiar with my accent, 
with my English accents and they would uh, very accurately uh, guess my uh, nationality but yeah so here we are I think this is uh, my second reload for this fight um, <clears throat> I'm pretty much more of a wing it kind of guy, uh, especially in terms of uh, fight. Uh, but this game really uh, brought out the strat uh, strate strategist in me. Right, so I can't just go in and guns blazing in, in this fight. So the reason why I'm saying that is because of the bone chill magic that my party has been plagued with and i have no freaking idea how to counter that i have no freaking idea what to do about it because i can't be healed i can't basically i can't do uh, i can't do sh sh uh, uh, when i'm bone chilled so on on this gameplay on this uh turn on, on this uh, uh reload I did prepare uh, some potions to counter necrotic magic. Uh, I also prepared some uh, universal resistance potions. Uh, that way I'll be able to um, dodge or evade necrotic uh, attacks. So yeah, for this party I have Jahira, Shadowheart and Gale. Excuse me, sorry about that. So it's actually pretty much overwhelming. As you can see in the top portion of the screen, um, we all know that there are only four of us. And if you count the number of characters up there, I mean, I haven't even... Oh yeah, I, I've already uh, summoned the... the, the uh, ability of the Necromancy of Thay. So that uh, book... Actually, if you completed that quest, you will be able to summon four um, creatures or I don't know undead creatures uh, to fight by your side. So at this point, uh, basically, it were well, there are eight of us. <coughs> That's the party and the summons or the the summon creature or the, my summon creatures. But still, even if uh, even if um, where there are eight of us if you count the number of portraits on the top screen you can see it's actually pretty much overwhelming right so i mean in in terms of sheer numbers um i would say at the very least uh they outnumber us one to two so but so yeah i i i, I mean in my opinion in my humble opinion i think this is one of the toughest fight um Or in the or in the red battle, I've also fought. I mean, I've also played that in in balance mode. I think the normal mode. Um, <clears throat> the only challenge I had I had that was to avoid um, uh, Orin's hostage, who uh, was supposed to be one of. I mean, who is uh, one of your party members? Well, in my case, it was Lazel. Uh, I was having a hard time uh, keeping her alive because he's, she's just laying there any magic uh, any area of effect ma magic that uh, is uh, cast regardless I think I mean I could be wrong but any area of effect magic uh, magic that uh, is cast by e either side will um, affect laser so in, in one gameplay when I was uh, playing or in the red or when I was fighting or in the red I cast uh, kill, uh, fog of cloud uh, fog, uh, I know the cloud kill fog yeah the one I cast also here so sorry about that um, yeah so I, I cast it somewhere near Lazel wherein she's uh, affected by the spell and well to to make a logical or rational explanation about it she, since she's just lying there i think that made her vulnerable so i think uh, saving throws are not applicable to her <laughs> so it affected her and it killed her basically i killed lazel so 
I had to reload that and I had to carefully place my spells or where I cast my spells so as not to affect, affect Lazel. A uh, good thing was that um, Orange Minions uh, did not try to attack Lazel at that point. They were um, primarily focused on me. Even Orin uh, was focused on me and my uh, party. So yeah, uh, this one, uh, one of the reasons I consider I consider this fight to be a tough tough fight is because they're uh, they are um, the they are drows, so they are uh, dark elves. Uh, wherein they see in the dark and I'm pretty much uh, sure that they can also see uh, well, well, they are also immune to blindness I'm not sure if that's uh, for every Sharon but I think Viconia is uh, immune to blindness so <clears throat> uh, my my shadow monk um, magics uh, my shadow monk's magic can't really do much effect although i still have i can still do enough damage or you know uh significant damage to them as my shadow monk with my unarmed strikes and my stunning strikes and my shadow strikes although i don't think i've used my shadow strikes here only my unarmed strike and uh stunning strikes so yeah um so th that's one of the challenges so what I did, what I what I figured out was, since they're uh, akin or you know uh, comfortable in darkness in the dark, I figured uh, putting some light or putting some lights. So that's why I cast lights. So I mean, yeah, uh, sunlight rather. Uh, I have Jahira and Shadowheart casting that. Um, yeah. So at this point. Uh, as you can see, their numbers are dwindling. Um, I think there are still five of us. I still have one minion. I have still have one summon creature. So that's. Oh man, hold on. Let me see. Oh yeah, there's a summon. Oh uh, yeah, so this is one of the reasons. Okay, there you go. So I died there. So this is one of the reasons why I, I can't consider this as a. Uh, a, a gameplay where it went my way because most of my gameplays even in other games if I die if my main character dies or gets incapacitated uh, I tend to repeat or reload the game I I don't want my main character to be getting unconscious or to be dying in, in the heat of the battle even though I know they can still be revived but at this point uh, uh, I just said F it. Uh, I can. I. Um, I mean, my my companions can revive me anyway. And besides, I've I've already my my main character basically defeated Biconia anyway, so that's fine. Uh, the good uh, the one thing I noticed was that uh, these uh, Sharons are pretty much British. Uh, there. So at this point. <laughs> Uh, since I got unconscious by the the shoving, uh, nobody helped me, and yeah, I think that's enough turns that uh, in, 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 enough turns has passed or have passed wherein nobody helped me. That's the reason why uh, you know there was a semi permanent death. <coughs> But yeah, I know that, I mean, I can be revived, I mean, by a scroll or by magic or even by withers. But, <clears throat> yeah, so I just uh, um, continued playing. One of the reasons why it also is because, you know, uh, we're also almost winning. So, you know, it would be a total bummer, to say the least. Uh, to repeat the game again, especially with the long ass conversation, with the long ass uh, cinematics between Viconia and the team. So I decided to continue playing even though I died. <laughs> and <clears throat> so, yeah. Um, I don't know if you noticed, but Viconia is just unconscious. Uh, I'm not 
my my um, non-lethal attacks are not activated so every blow can be a killing blow but for this gameplay or for this part uh, you can't totally kill Biconia uh, while uh, in the heat of the battle all right so that's um I'm not, I, I can't say spoil spoiler I mean pretty much uh, half of the world is uh, I mean is done playing this I mean pretty much half of the the or more than 90% of the players are already in their second playthrough <laughs> and I'm I mean I'm still in my first playthrough technically so yeah um so I was revived thankfully by um, Gail uh, using a scroll and yeah as you can see I am my armor is not uh, shown but I am equipped with an armor uh, what I decide to, to make visible is the uh, how do you say that the casual wear yeah, yeah so the casual wear is the one I chose to to be visible but I'm I am wearing armor I think uh, yeah no not I think but I'm sure that I'm wearing medium armor and I know that it's not um, the first choice for a, a monk class. Uh, pretty much, if you really want to go full, full, full-blown monk, you'd probably wear light armor uh, to maximize your capacity. But my armor is um, has some abilities in it that I can use in my monk. Uh, so I decided to wear it, and you know, just to give it some style as well. I wouldn't want my monk to be wearing uh, drab rags, and uh, you know, while all my party members are wearing uh, shiny armors and uh, shiny robes. So yeah, at the very least, I, I equipped uh, medium armor to my monk. And as you can see, for uh, Jahira, he, she's uh, turned into a Myrmidon, a fire Myrmidon. I haven't tried the other uh, wild shapes, but. Um, I'll, I'll be trying them for sure, like the, you know, the dinosaur thing, I forgot the, the, the name. So yeah, uh, here I tried to use my Shadow Strike but I failed miserably because I stepped on a fire surface so my invisibility got cancelled. And as you know, your Shadow Strike can only be activated if you're sneaking or if you're invisible so I had to uh, just continue uh, with the stunning strikes so yeah here uh, you see um, Viconia is um, uh, down but if you talk to her this is what you get because she's not totally dead all right so you can uh, still um, increase uh, her attitude toward you but I'll let you figure it out guess if what I did to Vicone whether I ended her life or I spared her again uh, if you decided if you decide the former you'll get amazing loot that's all I have to say but let me know what you think I did in the comments or in the next video I'll let you know in the next video Thanks, guys. Cheers.